So in this video, I'm going to talk about how to install the Google Chrome in your Linux system. So uh, I'm using Ubuntu, but uh, I will also show you how to install the Google Chrome in Fedora or the RPM based distribution as well. So the first thing is to go and search for the Google Chrome for the Linux system. Just you can use any search engines like Google, Bing, but I'm using Google. Just go ahead and search for uh, Google Chrome download. And after that, uh, Google Chrome, uh, this first link, go ahead and click on this first link and then click and download Chrome. So when you click on that link, it will pop up and give you the list of options. So uh, 32 bit for DB for the Debian based and even to based system uh, for the Fedora, uh, Red Hat, CentOS, or Suji Enterprises Linux. Thus, you need to download the RPM. So, as I'm running the Debian system uh, that is Ubuntu, so I'm going to use the 64 bit. Uh, you can either choose 32 bit if your operating system is of 32 bit, and you can also choose the 64 bit if your operating system is 64 bit that you can check by using uname minus uh, a so as you can see x864 is the 64 bit system so i am going to uh, download the 64 bit system just accept and install so this will uh, download uh, actually i want to save the file so this will download uh, the system as i have already downloaded i am not going to uh, download it i am going to cancel so uh, the uh, previous download has been uh, saved under my downloads directory so as uh, you go to the downloads directory and do ls you can see that the google chrome has been downloaded so this is the debian package so in to install the debian package in uh, the linux or in the ubuntu or the debian based system just you need to do sudo uh, dpkg is the debian package manager and i for install google chrome just press uh, just to g o o g l e and press tab to auto complete uh, the file name okay g o and tab google chrome this will auto complete uh, the name of the file and then just hit enter uh, then uh, issue your password as i am going to enter mine so as you can see uh, the google chrome is installing so unpacking google chrome is stable uh, so the another thing that i want to point out is if you are uh, using uh, the rpm based oops we get some error dpkg error processing package google chrome is stable install dependency problem so living command so uh, we have encountered some dependencies to uh, to complete the installation just uh, we need to install uh, this application as it says that a uh, lib uh, app indicator is not installed just go ahead and copy this and then just uh, see the command sudo apt install and then paste that so as you can see the following package have on my dependencies so again uh, this package depends upon this so <laughs> we need to install this one again so uh, just go ahead and copy this and sudo apt install okay so google chrome stable depends upon this package but it is not going to install on my dependencies try apt minus f to install with no package so let us try this command and then just install oops uh, we haven't provided the sudo okay i think this command is going to install that dependencies both of those dependencies just press y and install this package without verifications yes actually we need to uh, provide the signature file but uh, at this time we couldn't provide that so it is going to install and setting up the google chrome stable version 47.0 okay so
processing are going to be triggered so if you uh, do google chrome then your google chrome uh, is installed and actually i don't want to send the statistics and the crash report to google google so i'm not going to check at this second option so i i want to make the google chrome as the default browser just press ok and then if you uh, as you can see we have just installed the google chrome so okay uh, okay the another thing that i want to uh, tell you is if you are using the rpm version that is if you have downloaded the rpm version for the federal hardware head or the center system just you can do sudo uh, rpm minus i for install and the package name okay or you can even do sudo sudo yum something like yum local install and the package name okay thank you for watching this video if you like this video please subscribe thank you